Hi everyone, welcome to the History of Football channel. Today I'll be doing another former football ground. Recently I did Highbury and before that I did Upton Park, but today's video is going to be Bootham Crescent, the former home ground of York City. York City were founded in 1922 and their first home ground was called Fulford Gate in Fulford on the southeastern outskirts of York and they played there between 1922 to 1932. It was reported that their first home ground was quite a considerable distance away from York Railway Station and attendances declined in the club's second and third seasons in the Football League which directors blamed on Fulford Gate's location. On the 26th of April 1932, a general meeting was held with the shareholders and directors of York City Football Club and it was decided by 115 votes to 37 that the club was to move to Bootham Crescent on a 21-year lease. The move to Bootham Crescent was favoured because of Bootham Crescent's location which was only roughly a mile away from York Railway Station and also it was quite close to the city centre of York. The site of York's new home was in a regular shape and was hemmed in from far sides with a narrow track to the south, barracks to the west, a school and almhouses to the north and terrace houses to the east. Over the summer of 1932 the area was drained and then built to the design of local architects Ward and Leckenby. The popular stand was erected on the west side using sections of the terrace cover at Fulford Gate with the main stand built opposite. Terraces were banked up in the wedge-shaped areas behind the goals. After four months of construction, Bootham Crescent was ready for the 1932-1933 season with an initial capacity of over 30,000 people. The ground was officially opened on the 31st of August 1932 when York City played against Stock Park County in a third division North match. York City player Tom Mitchell scored the first goal at the ground in a two-all draw before 8,106 supporters. In the first four year at Bootham Crescent, attendances were often sometimes lower than what they were at Fulford Gate. Also, there was questions asked about the ground and most notably about the pitch, where on some occasions it was seen that there was large pools of water in both goal areas. The ground first hosted a match against a first division opposition side on the 12th of January 1935 when York City played against Derby County in an FA Cup third round match which set a new club record at the time of 13,612 fans. During the Second World War, the tunnel at the back of the popular stand was used as an air raid shelter for pupils and staff of Shipton Street School. The ground was slightly damaged after an air raid on York on April 1942 when houses along the Shipton Street end were bombed. Considerable improvements were made in the immediate post-war period. Deeper drainage and the concreting of banking at the Grosvenor Road end were completed and loudspeaking equipment was installed. In September 1948 it was announced that York had purchased Bootham Crescent outright for £4,075. Around this time, the club's finances grew stronger and bigger crowds were seen in the post-war years. In the 1950s, there were several improvements made on the popular stand and also during the summer of 1955, the main stand was extended towards Shipton Street, funded by profits gained from the FA Cup run and a stand extension fund. A concrete wall was later built at the Grosvenor Road end for over £3,000 in 1956 as a safety precaution and as a support for additional banking and terracing. These improvements saw the ground's capacity extended to 23,600. Floodlights were installed at the ground in the summer of 1959, costing £14,500, a substantial part of which was raised by a supporters club. They were officially switched on for a friendly against Newcastle United on the 28th of October, 1959, which Newcastle won 8 goals to 2 in front of a crowd of 9,414. In the mid-1970s, Seaton was installed in the popular stand and it reduced the overall capacity of the ground to 16,529. In 1980, floodlights were updated and replaced, which cost the club £20,000. These were officially opened in a friendly against Grimsby Town on the 1st of August 1980. 
By the early 1980s, cracks had appeared in the wall built at the back of the Grosvenor Road end. The rear of the terracing was cordon off and the capacity of the ground was reduced to 13,500. In 1985, extensive works were done on Bootham Crescent, which cost the club £100,000. Some of these were eight new turnstiles installed at the Shipton Street end. Also, dressing rooms were refurbished to incorporate new baths and showers, and a new referee's changing room and physiotherapist treatment room were also constructed. On the 14th of October 1991, the David Longhurst stand was officially opened in a friendly against Leeds United, which was watched by a crowd of 4,374 people. David Longhurst was a York City player who collapsed and died on the pitch at Bootham Crescent on the 8th of September 1990 in a match against Lincoln City. Throughout the 1990s, several other renovations and improvements were made to the ground, which reduced the capacity of the stadium to 9,459. In the early 2000s, Bootham Crescent almost stopped hosting football matches altogether when the chairman at the time, Douglas Craig, put the ground and the club up for sale for £4.5 million in December 2001. It was announced that the ground would close on the 30th of June 2002 and there were talks over a move to the Huntington Stadium. In March 2002, the club was bought by John Batchelor. He said York would continue to play at Bootham Crescent until a new stadium was built. Although they remained at Bootham Crescent, there was still talk about the club moving to Huttonen Stadium. However, planning problems arose with bringing that ground up to football league standards and the club preferred to stay at Bootham Crescent. York City bought Bootham Crescent again in February 2004 after a 2.5 million loan from the Football Stadium Improvement Fund was secured. York were relegated to the Conference National for the 2004-2005 season from League 2, which brought an end of 72 year in the Football League. In January 2005, the ground was renamed Kit Kat Crescent as part of a sponsorship deal under which Nestle donated £100,000 to the club. This deal expired in January 2010, when Nestle ended all their sponsorship arrangements with the club and the ground returned to the name Bootham Crescent officially. York City would eventually gain promotion back to League 2 and this time around they managed a four-year stay in the Football League's basement division before being relegated back to the National League for the start of the 2016-2017 season. The final match to be played at Bootham Crescent came in 2020 when York City hosted Geisley. York centre-back Josh King scored the only goal of the match as it finished 1-0. York City had been planning to move away from Booth and Crescent for quite some time and this was due to major problems with the ground, including holes in the main stand roof, crumbling in the Grosvenor Road end, drainage problems and poor toilet conditions. York City's new stadium finally got planning permission in 2014. In 2017, construction started at the stadium and in 2019 it was completed. The new ground is called the York Community Stadium and it has a capacity of 8,500. For sponsorship purposes, it's called l Community Stadium. Bootham Crescent was officially handed to Per Simon Holmes in April 2022 and in February 2023, the ground was officially demolished completely and now a new housing estate is being built where Bootham Crescent once stood. Along with football being played at the ground, between 2016 and 2020, Bootham Crescent was the home of the York City Rugby League side. Looking at some records now at the ground, the highest attendance record at the ground was 28,123 for a match against Huddersfield Town in the FA Cup 6th round on the 5th of March 1938. The lowest ever attendance at the ground for any first team fixture was 608 spectators for a Conference League Cup third round match against Mansfield Town on the 4th of November 2008. York's biggest margin of victory at Bootham Crescent was by 8 goals achieved with a 9-1 win over Southport in the 3rd Division North on the 2nd of February 1957. Their biggest margin of defeat at the ground was by seven goals when they were beaten 7-0 by Rochdale in the 3rd Division North on the 14th of January 1939. The most goals scored in a match was 12 on the 16th of November 1935 when York defeated Mansfield Town seven goals to five in the 3rd Division North. 
So that concludes my video on Bootham Crescent tonight, the former home ground of York City between 1932 to 2020. If you've been to this ground, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your memories of Bootham Crescent. Now they played a wonderful new ground there. Hopefully I get to go there one day. I know that um, York, the rugby league side, play there as well. So you've got rugby league and football being played at the new ground. And would you say that the ground had one of the funniest sponsorship names in history, the Kit Kat Crescent? It's up there with the Tony Macaroni Arena or Stadium up in Livingston, Scotland there. Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks to everyone that's been supporting the channel recently. It's much appreciated. If you like History of Football on YouTube, I also run mm -hmm. a TikTok page, a Facebook page and an Instagram page. Go check those out. Links in the description below. Anyways, this has been History of Football. Catch us all later in the next one. Tatty bye for now.